Euthanasia is the painless killing of a patient suffering from an incurable and painful disease or in an irreversible coma. Please note that euthanasia is different to assisted suicide. Assisted suicide is where the physician makes the lethal injection or drug available to the patient without actually administering it, while euthanasia is where the physician takes the active role to administer the lethal dose. There are two types of euthanasia. Voluntary, where the patient makes the conscious decision for euthanasia, and non-voluntary, where the patient is incapable of making a decision, for example, when in a coma, and so the decision is made for them. Within these, there are two further subtypes for each, active and passive. Active euthanasia involves physically giving the lethal dose to a patient, while passive euthanasia involves removing life-sustaining support to allow a patient to die. Under UK law, both euthanasia and assisted suicide are illegal. However, passive euthanasia is considered part of palliative care and is therefore not technically euthanasia in the eyes of the law. This is because in certain scenarios where there is no hope for survival, the patient may be using resources that could be used more successfully by other patients, or it could be causing them more pain to be kept alive than it would to die. There are various situations that can be explored here, and they are therefore very testable in interviews. There are multiple questions surrounding euthanasia which could come up in the interview. However, they are all very similar and revolve around a question of medical ethics. The scenario in each interview question may change, but here are some questions that are likely to come up. What are your opinions on euthanasia? Should euthanasia be made legal in the UK? Is it right that patients travel to places such as Dignitas in Switzerland to be euthanised? A patient refuses life-saving treatment, what would your course of action be? To what extent do you agree euthanasia should be legalised. These questions can be asked in both MMI and panel interview formats and are a classic example of how interviewers test the student's ability to apply ethical concepts. The best way to answer these questions is by using the four principles of medical ethics – justice, beneficence, non-maleficence and autonomy. Go through each of these one by one in your head and decide if they are applicable to the question. For euthanasia related questions, they can all be addressed and spoken about. Make sure that you lay out all of the arguments for both sides and use the four principles to structure your answer. You can use these as the four main points of your argument and base your arguments around them. The interviewers will not only be impressed by your well-structured answer considering all aspects of the issue, but also your methodical thought process. Although this topic is often brought up by interviewers to test your grasp of medical ethics, you can also tie it in with other questions that may arise. This is done by directing the conversation to topics you feel confident with, and is a good method of increasing your chances of success in medical school interviews. This is a skill which is learned through practice and whilst it cannot be used in every interview, it can be extremely effective when used well. One example of when euthanasia could be mentioned is in questions relating to limited health resources. For example, by legalising euthanasia, the potential demand for those resources could be reduced. In summary, euthanasia is a controversial and important topic that is commonly addressed in medical school interviews. Make sure that you have a good understanding of the differences between the various types of euthanasia, as well as the difference between euthanasia and assisted suicide.